going on, Legion? Azrael, like always, and sorry if my, uh, <clears throat> sorry if my voice is a little strained. Uh, but yeah, we got Pet Cemetery. Now, when I saw this on the list of just things coming out and, and trailers to, to check out, I was like, surprised. I'm like, oh yeah, Pet Cemetery. This was really creepy. Um, and then I realized it was trailer number two, and I'm like, really? Like, it's been that long since the first trailer we checked out, like, a month or two ago, like some maybe like last year sometime. That's kind of crazy. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're just taking a hard time to do it or they're just, this is how they're doing it. Um, either way, let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. This was some bizarre, freaky shit. Let's go. Official trailer. Numero dos. Oh, people. In the woods today. All right. L.A. discovered a charming little landmark. The Pet Cemetery. Place to bury our pets and remember them. It might seem scary, but it's not. Perfectly natural. Just like dying is natural. Hey, all Hotel's right, been Connor. Using this place for generations. John. Let's make a kind of ritual out of it. Yeah, this is cult. Yeah, Stephen King, of it's course. It's not some campfire story. Saw these on the trees up there. They're warnings. Oh, the local oh. tribes carved them before they fled. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Run this by me again? Local tribes carved them before they fled. The author of It and The Shining. Hmm. Huh. I just wanted to make sure we all were on the same page. Just making sure. The local tribes carved them before they fled. They fear that place. There's something up there. All right, Mr. Third Rock from something the Sun. Dates way back. Those woods belong to something else. Something. That cat was dead. It brings things back. Church? I know what you're thinking of doing. But they don't come back the same. Daddy. Who's? What's going on? Hug your daughter. I should never have shown you that place. Your child is not the only thing that will come back. The barrier is broken. <sighs> we have a second chance. Sometimes dead is better. up man oh man oh man oh man oh man huh all right so the way i view that is that that cat is like not the familiar but it, it looks like the in this instance that cat was the cause the cat died and it was like maybe not the cat itself but something either you know brought the cat or whatever it was i i, I don't know what he meant by sometimes they come back he's talking about sometimes the animals do um but the cat definitely looked like he led the girl to die which would leave the broken-hearted father to do something stupid which then would break the barrier for all things evil to come into our world that's what this looks like this that's that's textbook 101 scary things especially with a lot of new things a lot of modern day stuff um which is meddling from people, from humans, from the world of the living, to bring something demonic, or open the door for the demonic. Uh, even in like possession movies, it's all about it never acknowledge the demons there because that gives it power, right? And that giving acknowledging it is like giving it a way in. They have that certain kind of thought in the Conjuring movies, uh, even 
even the Keanu's um, Constantine movies, you, you know, that's just kind of the rule of thumb. That was more of a shit show uh, <laughs> kind of situation. But that's generally the, you know, I, I wouldn't say the nun, the nun was very different. Uh, it was more about guarding the doorway um, and not being able to keep it closed. That's kind of what that was about. So this, this, that's what this seems like is something and or the cat got the girl killed. The girl comes back. She's kind of her, maybe not completely her, maybe possessed, maybe deranged undead zombie, which that'd be a good, every time this happens, every time the daughter or whoever comes back, it's usually a possession. It would be just good if this was just a demented, warped version of who they were. Because they're still them, just without the soul. Without the part of them that is the good. The reason. The, you know, the reasoning within their their essence. You take away that holy light, let's say, that goes to the afterworld. And you reanimate the body and the mind without the soul. And now you have something that is unburdened uh, by guilt. And it could just kill and do all kinds of it, rabid things. Which is, <coughs> excuse me, which is kind of like the zombie scenario. A zombie is kind of, in some ways, I think it was in The Walking Dead, they just say that it's like the lower brainstem, so it's very animalistic, just very base, what it is. But then zombies can also be looked at as not people anymore, but running on instinct. And that could be another version of undead, it's just instinct, except that undead with magic or demonic power your whole brain is not just the base needs of an animal without thought. It's thought unencumbered by a conscience. And what that would be really cool if that's what this pet... I've never read it. I don't know anything about it. That would be really cool if that's how this was going. If this was not a possession, like not like some, it's, it's some kind of um, conjuring, some kind of... Uh, uh, oh, God, I can't think of the... The one that's not the conjuring that starts with like a... I keep wanting to think of Injustice, Insidious. Insidious conjuring is very much demons and coming back and, and spirits, vengeful. If it was more like what I was saying, who they were just reanimated, that would be a good turn. Let me know if that's the case. Let me know if that's what this is about, and I'll be happy. And then I'll also be right, and then I'll be double happy. So with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you listen to me ramble, I appreciate it. Always thank you for that. And uh, if you enjoyed your time here, you can always like the video and uh, sub or share if you want to. If not, I understand. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. My voice is very strained. Sorry. Later.